Hello everyone. Welcome everyone to Eldritch Cosplay. Formerly Clockwork Cosplay, because, you know, changed the name to match my main channel, Eldritch Vagal. That's where I do speed paints and let's plays and stuff like that. Go check it out if you want to, but that's not why we're here. We are here to do a stop, drop, and cosplay. This idea actually came from Nyx Rising. They're an amazing YouTube channel full of cosplayers and they do amazing work. Go check them out. About to say if you want to. Even if you don't want to, check them out, they're awesome. Anyway, in their recent video, they said this. I'd like, I'd really like to challenge people to do stop drop cosplay themselves. Like, oh my god, yeah. Like, do it. We want to see you do a stop drop cosplay. Like, put it on YouTube or put it on, like, Twitter or something. So, of course, here I am. I'm taking up your challenge, Nick Rising. Nick and Sasha. This is for you guys. So basically the rules of a stop, drop and cosplay are you have to pick a name of a character out of the hat and then you have five minutes to gather the materials and stuff you'll need to cosplay as that character. Then you have ten minutes to put the cosplay together. And of course, because Halloween will be spooky themed. Now, in this hat, I have the names of different characters that are spooky themed. So I'm going to not look and pick my character. <laughs> okay, I got Bendy, and that is Bendy the Ink Demon from Bendy and the Ink Machine. It's an amazing game, it's basically a horror game that's set in an abandoned, what would you call it? That's an a animation factory, but that's not right. Animation studio, yeah, that, that's, that's the, <laughs> in, an, in, an, in an abandoned animation studio, and you, the main character, have received a letter from your old boss saying, hmm, come over here, something to show you. And of course, like a chump, the main character Henry goes and does it and turns on a machine and then stuff happens. Anyway, the main, well, I think antagonist, after all, the last chapter is coming out in only a few days, so looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, main antagonist and name of the game is Bendy, the Ink Demon. And so yeah, that's who I'm going to be cosplaying as today. I'll be doing like a humanized version since I don't have time to saw up a humongous cartoon head. So hopefully this all goes well. Of course. Now, five minutes to get my stuff starting now. Right, so for my Bendy cosplay, I am going to be using these for the horns. Yeah, I know they aren't filled in, but they'll do for now. Some gloves for the cartoony look. I have this white, kind of old-fashioned collar, I don't really know what it's called. Uh, you know, the ones with the big bits and the pleats for underneath, because I don't have a black shirt like this, which is unfortunate, and it's also on my to get for cosplay buying list. You know what I mean. <laughs> but I don't have one at the moment, and Bendy does have a white bow tie, so I'm just going to use this for now. To go underneath and hopefully it'll have the same effect. Black pants. And of course a black suit jacket to finish it off. Of course I can't be bendy with this hair, can I? So for that, I have this fur boil. Um, I don't have many wigs. This is my short hair black one. It's really cheap. <laughs> and by cheap I mean I got it for like two dollars at a Kmart. Yeah, it's not good quality being held together by a safety pin, but it will do for now. Okay, time to get dressed. As you can see, this shirt is massive on me, but hopefully after I tuck it in and stuff, you won't be able to tell. <laughs> Fun fact for the day, um, my final exams are coming up in like two weeks, and yeah, I. another reason I'm doing this video is because if I don't take a break from studying at this point, I'm going to spontaneously combust. You know, so you do something fun as a break from all the monotony and suffering. But it's good, one thing keeps me going. In three weeks, I will be free. Free forever and do much more videos like this and hopefully have a consistent upload schedule. Now for the jacket. Lovely. Do a collar surprisingly difficult. There we go. Lovely. 
I'm going to forego the gloves and the wig for now because of course before we do that I'm gonna do makeup. Alright here we are, um, makeup station. Yes I am sitting on the floor, I have literally nowhere else to sit. It's too hot to be anywhere else in the house right now. I have foregone the jacket just so I don't get any makeup and paint on it. Uh, one second, I'm going to get some tin on. New news, floor is uncomfortable. Surprising to me one. Uh, should we like hang the mirror to that? Alright. Pushing up the sleeves and we're going to start. Generic white face paint. Because black and white is in, did I just say black and white? Bendy is in black and white. Well, technically a sepia, but we're doing black and white. And this is where we speed everything up. We are running worryingly low in this white paint. <laughs> paler on camera than I do in real life, which is good because I'm running a low on white paint. some fun grey streaks in the corner of my hair out with this. <laughs> hmm, pale and spooky. Feeling more like a ghost already. Alright. Now what to do? Paint. Starting off like this because Bendy is known style of those old timey cartoons, you know, like Mickey Mouse that have the pie cut eyes. So hopefully this pie cut eye of it will do what I want it to. Wow, that's a crooked line. Good job, Dre. Yeah, it's fine. I'll fill in later. Hopefully. I could never be a surgeon. My hands are so shaky. That's why I can't do eyeliner. Look at the difference. That mess. That mess. Oh dear. Okay. We'll leave it at that. And I'll just fill in around the eye. It looks like I have really dramatic eyeliner on at the moment. Oh, well, then make it a bit rounder. I gotta keep my eyes down my Oh no, it's smudging. <laughs> Crap. It's okay then. Put more on. I'm just gonna go stand under an icon for a few minutes. <sighs> okay, yeah, he's back. Oh. Now, of course, to add some inky tears because ink
horrifying. Exactly what I was aiming for. Yeah. Damn it. There we go. Now, for this. Now I've just got to wait for that to dry. <laughs> Can't close my mouth. Oh, no. Return to the aircon. Alright. Nice. Can I go wash my hands? Time to get the wig and the horns and the gloves. Alright. Time to get the rest of this dress. Gotta figure out how the buttons are on this thing again. <laughs> and no, I don't have a hairnet because I have no idea where you get them. <laughs> and also, I don't know, I don't have one. So, I'm just going to tie up my hair in a bun. No, it doesn't show. This wig is so terrible. Alright. I'm the product of an artist whose creations bring the light. Upon this somber threshold, imagination comes to life. Just free yourself from reason, soon you'll see in black and white. Call me a seed of evil, but what's that mean if I'm conceived within your mind? And that was it. I really hope you enjoyed the Stop, Drop and Clods play. I had a lot of fun, as you can probably tell. <laughs> might actually, well, I say I might actually use this for Halloween, but that's saying if I even do a Halloween, since we're in Australia. Australia doesn't really celebrate Halloween, unfortunately. And like I mentioned before, final exams, a little bit important. So let's be real, this is probably the only Halloween themed thing I'm going to do this year. <laughs> So yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot, Nick's Rising. I love you lots. Uh, <laughs> it's been really fun. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys after exams. See ya.